baby, let's just dance, dance Let's just dance, baby I just wanna dance, 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 dance Can you feel it? Can you take it? Can you come and breathe it? All of this electricity Do it right now, right, right, right now Turn the volume up loud Give me your electricity Welcome back to the bar! It's your... Favorite bitches. I know, but I can't <laughs> always say that. And let me just say, you, I think, win on the bitches in this episode. I was such an unlikable <laughs> bitch. You are definitely number one. I oh, you. I was a horrific bitch. I was a whore of a bitch. I was uh, terrible. Uh, oh. That's okay. We forgive yeah. you. Uh, well, it was not- well deserved to, to you be doing it, so... I mean, I was a bitch to Abby. I was a bitch to Jill. I was just a bitch across the board. I was an equal opportunity bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad yeah. you're recapping and I'm not. Because oh, gosh. Was this was a to- long one. It was long and it was hard to watch. It was hard to yeah. watch on a lot of levels. I did not for me to watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was this gross. Was a tough one. I catched uh, you when I was watching it. I'm like, oh. I know (laughs) this episode episode does suck. All right. Before we talk about how sucky this episode is, let's start by thanking our Patreons for the week. So these are all people who went over to patreon.com slash back to the bar to get all of the exclusive behind the scenes after party content to get video content and to get never before shared photos or video, depending on what level or tier you're on. And there is a ton of stuff up there now, like a ton. Yeah. I was looking at it. Now how to get online and look. I, I've never been on there. Okay. I can help you go, but there's so much stuff. I, I have to go on and look. I don't know what you post. You could be posting bad things about me and I wouldn't even know. Kelly. Look at you thinking. I would never. <laughs> thinking. What should I take down before I help her get on there? I was just thinking, I can't know. What I was thinking is, <gasps> I definitely don't have any bad shit of you posted because if you're bad in it, I'm just as bad, if not worse. I don't know. You look kind of guilty. There. <laughs> I'm not guilty. But my mm-hmm. point is, is if somebody goes on and joins now, they're going to get to see all of that content from way back when. The past so, stuff. Yeah. The so they get tons of good stuff. So. Yeah. If you haven't joined yet, you definitely should check it out. Um, And then you also get a little special shout out from us on this podcast. So let's thank Jess, Hannah, Talia Jade, Janelle, Kate, Maggie, Kate, Sophie, Maggie, Sarah, Molly, Matt, Cecil, Connor, Stella, Kendall, Lindsay, Maya, Maddie, Haley, Jen, Butch, Fabulous, Natalie, Denise, Lucy, Jay, Annabelle, Lene, Jenna, Katie, Emily, Courtney, Bailey, Paige, Danielle, Rashika, William, Anna, Kayla, Sarah, Brittany, Mary Beth, Shelby, and or sorry, Abby, Tori, Rebecca, Caitlin, Eden, Ella, Rayanne, Nicola, Emily, Lisa. Chandley, Colette, Danny, Ricky, Sarah, Abby, Caitlin, Molly, Jordan, Kayla, and Sarah. Thank you all so much. Thank you. But how about there was a Kendall, I, a, Maddie, a Maddie, a Paige, uh-huh. and an Abby. Yep. That was crazy. Yeah. Almost the whole cast. There was yep. somebody's <laughs> name. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I was kind of laughing because they came back to back. Like yeah. the Kendall and the Maddie were right, right uh-huh. there. Yeah. So, Ugh, well, we know it's not that Abby that subscribed. Although I wouldn't be surprised if she subscribed under <laughs> a pseudo name. Just yeah, maybe. She, she needs to know everything we do at all times. I swear. Yes. She wants to see the bad stuff about us. I'm oh, sure. yeah. But there's no bad stuff because we're good girls. Yeah. We are I the am. Good, we're the good girls. I am. Uh, okay, good girl. What are you drinking? I am drinking an espresso martini. Oh my God. That is like the hottest drink ever. If you are a gen, what gen, gen Z, they all drink them. Um, I know. Even my son likes them. Yeah. I'm like, Josh, you drink a martini. He's like, yeah, they're good. <laughs> they they are good, but my God, I they're cannot... Brooke's favorite. I know she drinks Brooke them everywhere. Loves them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I made it out of my little barista thing. 
Oh, you did? Yeah. I love it. You okay. Push three buttons and you got a, yourself a drink. A cocktail. It, it's the best. The only thing that we I need to get more kinds though. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make order more more capsules. The only yeah. thing that would be better is if you had a hot shirtless bartender there to make you your drink. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Like that, yes. gen- that guy you sent us the other day. Oh my gosh. Wasn't he hot? Yeah. But what kind of pages are you on, on Facebook, Kelly? It was like a dirty story. Facebook. I don't know. I it was- all kinds of things on Facebook. That's where I get all my drinks and stuff. From. <laughs> you know, you know I, sit, I sit on there all day looking at shit. I don't know how to post anything or do anything, but I just look at what everybody else does. And you buy everything. But I was uh-huh. dying at it because it was like one of those like porn stories. And it was like, when you it walk was? in on your hot father-in-law pleasure. Oh, I didn't even look at it. Owl. And I'm like, even, Jesus. I didn't even read it. I just looked at the picture. <laughs> I don't read that shit. Was it really like that? I'm going to go eat. back. <laughs> go back and see it. Well, let me tell you, it's somebody's hot well, father-in-law. To you to look. I was Come reading on. it, Kelly. I read. That was my father-in-law. Like, I would love to go to like family functions. Yeah, exactly. Sit across the table from him from Thanksgiving. Oh, yum. You, and he you was, like a was yummy. You like a Thanksgiving massage, so you can oh, get a little thing. He was yummy. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Christy and Diane want me to go to um, Epcot this week, and uh-huh. I. I said, if you have, I sent a picture of a guy that I saw on Facebook that was really hot. And I said, well, maybe if he's like in the hotel room, I'll come. And Chrissy's getting him for me. I'm going to get him. I'm going to have went a on special delivery. <laughs> <X-rated laughs> website to get him for me. And I put in my family credit card. So Mark can track the yeah. charge. <laughs> yeah. What a great friend you are. I know I'm, uh, I'm always there. I'm the ultimate wing girl. I'm the ultimate. So what are you drinking? Okay. So this is kind of a crazy drink. I don't know how I'm going to make it through. So this is called a Mardi Gras. I drank one of these in New Orleans this week. No, it's purple. Like Mardi Gras. Because it has blue curacao plus uh, grenadine. So I think it kind of like gives it the purple color. Yeah, yeah, it makes it purple. But it has vodka, rum, and tequila. With a splash, oh. a splash of like Sprite. Then it has the blue carousel, the grenadine. And it came when I drank it there with a little piece of dry ice. It was all smoky, but oh, I don't yeah, have I dry like ice. Mm-hmm. I like a smoky drink. I like, I like a drink that has like some sort of a cute accessory. Yeah, mm-hmm. me too. Oh shit, is that <sighs> strong? Oh my God. Good thing she's Good. only wearing a headband once. Is that, is it only once? I think so. Maybe twice. Okay, but well, Jill got I, the fur, fur. covered. She and has then fur on every outfit. Every outfit. And then Abby has a fur purse yeah. walking into the competition. So. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So. so we are good. All right. I will happily let you start. Oh, yay. So we are on episode or season two, episode seven. And what? it's called Bullets and Ballet. What, what a mixture. Bullets right? and Ballet. <laughs> but we're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania this week. And we open up in the studio. And here we go. We have Abby screaming, Let's go, ladies. Ugh. Wouldn't Why you like was... to just like punch her in the face when she oh, says that? I'd like to punch her in the face multiple times, but yes, on that <laughs> one. But did you notice that G is standing in pyramid with us? Is no, that I weird? Uh-uh. I didn't pay attention. Yeah, yeah, she was never in pyramid. No, I thought that was so odd. She was like standing yeah. kind of between us and the girls. It was the it and it she didn't stay, but I was like, that's weird. I don't yeah. know why. But Abby tells us that we have a busy week and there's no coming in late, no leaving early. And like I felt like you. I like I couldn't pay attention to Jill and take her seriously with the her vest on. It was made Road, out of, it was like roadkill. I was just gonna say it, it was squirrels. Like roadkill. It was. I, I was like, I, I like. <laughs> why would you buy that? It was ugly. <laughs> it was I ugly. Like that. I and Mel- like that vest. No, and Melissa was shopping in my closet because she had a full on sequin shirt on. So yeah, at the studio. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, it was roadkill. Should we call this one roadkill? <laughs> Yeah, because she's definitely winning the worst outfit. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was terrible. Abby says, we planned on going to New Jersey, and last minute we ended up having to go to Texas. And 
most studios would have just skipped the competition, but not us. Yes. We, you know, we persevere. We push uh, through. We show up. Aren't we rain lucky. or snow? And then she says some good things happened, but some really bad things happened. Ugh. Never can be just good. Right. Nope. No, never good. So we're going to Hollywood vibe and it's mm-hmm. in Pittsburgh. She needs hundred percent from everybody because we're in our own backyard <sighs> and we have a target on our backs. Always. We always have a target again. Yes. You guys, it's because we're on TV, not because we're the Abby Lee dance company. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The group dance is going to be private eyes mm-hmm. and we are armed with the secret weapon. <laughs> guns 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 because that's what every uh nine to eleven year old should be playing with on the stage did you see our faces yes i actually took pictures because we're of, horrified of pictures. yes I, I will look for them but why she would think of these crazy things i have no idea i mean so she tells us well, she tells the girls that we're using guns and when we step on stage, we are going to kill it and we're going to blow the competition away. <laughs> yeah. And, and then you say that you don't like the idea of a weapon on stage, but you're used to that at Abby's and you should just give up. Which I agree. I mean, seriously, I agree. I wish I would have came up with something a little bit better there to say in my interview, but I think I was just so stunned that I was like, I give up. Yeah. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And I think I said, I think guns send the wrong message. Thank you, Christy, for that revolutionary thought. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So now we go to the pyramid and Kenzie is on the bottom and Abby tells her that she's went from first to the worst and one routine. But Kenzie had a good solo. So I don't know why she's at the bottom. I don't know. I have no idea. I I didn't understand. I never understand the pyramid. Uh -uh. No, because if you're going to punish people for their behavior or their mother's behavior, then Kendall should have been at the bottom because Jill threw the shoe. Yes. And well, let's keep going. Okay. Um, Then she says Nia. And she said, Nia d- was a pretty dance and she did well with no problem. So why is Nia on the bottom of the pyramid? Why wouldn't she be higher? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So Kendall had a costume issue. Um, it didn't matter. It doesn't matter what you wear. It's the technique and, you know, that, that's what she needs to work on. Right. So I think she was in the right spot in the bottom. Yeah. She probably should have been where Kenzie was a little down further, but mm-hmm. And then we got to Maddie and this is the first time Maddie, I think the first and the only time Maddie was ever on the bottom. Maybe. I know it's the first. I don't know if it's the only I'm going to go with probably. (laughs) Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. And Abby said um, that you, she could have been seriously injured and you, she made that mistake. I I don't think Abby thought she slipped. I think Abby thought she changed it in the middle of doing it instead of doing the front Ariel, she did a diving front walk over. Right. Well, and Melissa and Maddie's faces were definitely not Uh, pleased. No, I have that right on there. I think they were totally shocked, but I don't know why, because she fell and ran off the stage and didn't continue to dance. And Nia danced well, and there was no problem with it. And Maddie's still above her. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why that was. And honestly, look at all the other times that people have fallen and they're at the bottom. Like I know when Chloe, she does a Batman and broken dolls and she's at the bottom because she fell. So I don't know why that that would be an exception to the rule. No, I don't know. But Melissa on her interview says that um, she doesn't feel like Maddie should be at the bottom. Um, She feel she fell and this stuff happens, but she's just glad that she didn't get hurt, which I think we all were. Yeah. You know, nobody wants injuries. No. So then we get to Chloe and Chloe did good, but obviously not Not good good enough. enough. (laughs) (laughs) Never good enough. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Hey, but she's on the second row. I know. The bottom. So that's good. And then we have Brooke. And I have to say Brooke and Pyramid today 
her hair is down and she actually combed it. It looked pretty I good. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, oh, wow. What's happening with Brooke? I was watching um, her TikTok videos and she had one on. She was talking about Halloween or whatever. Uh-huh. And somebody, people were dressing up as her for Halloween and they were sending her <laughs> pictures of them dressed up <laughs> on, in Halloween. And she's like, I, I have to be the easiest Halloween costume. You just have to make your hair as messy as possible <laughs> <laughs> and look as miserable as you can. And pick your tooth. Yeah. She's like, that's the easiest costume ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. Yeah. I do but- love the fact that Brooke did not give a fuck that she, she was on did. national but television. Today she must have had like a date or something because she actually <laughs> combed her hair today. Uh, but funny. Abby tells her... Abby tells Brooke that she had a great performance, but she forgot the ending. I I didn't see her forget the ending. I don't remember Brooke forgetting the ending, but let's say for a minute that that's true, that Brooke did forget the ending. Wouldn't Mia be above her? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, ah, very frustrating. Exactly. And for the one and only time, I think, Paige is on the top. Woohoo! Oh, let's have a, let's have a cheers for that. Cheers. My, we, we should chug the whole thing for that. Yeah. <laughs> My little page. How about how happy everybody was for her? Yeah. She's such a sweet little thing. Yes. Don't yeah. worry. It all goes downhill from here. I know. I, I, I know. But Abby actually said something nice. She said, your legs were straight. Your feet, your were, feet pointed. were pointed. You went out and you won. Congratulations. Yeah. It was really exciting to see. I was happy for Paige. Yeah. Then we go to Melissa in her interview and she said, everybody wanted to jump up and down. You know, the page deserved it. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yes. Abby announces that everyone is in the group number and that there is a trio with no, Chloe. No, no. Kenzie's not in the group. Everyone's in it, but Ken's. Kenzie's not in it. So Kenzie doesn't dance this week at all. Oh, really? Uh-uh. Huh. No, Kenzie's what? sitting in the audience in like a sweatsuit when the girls are dancing. Yeah. Yeah. She always gets off easy. I'm telling you. Goodness. Okay. So everybody's in the group number, but Kenzie and there's a trio with Maddie, Chloe, and Paige. Yay. Did you you see Jill and Kendall's face? Oh, Jill could not have rolled her eyes more times. Her eyeballs were like, I don't understand why. And what's funny. And I think I say it later is that when Paige was replaced. She just couldn't understand why you were upset. Why I was upset. <laughs> Meanwhile, Meanwhile, Paige had been in that trio for five years. Yes. He was in it once. Yes. So why wouldn't I, I should be way more upset than Jill. And I think Jill was way more upset than me. Oh my God. Her eyeballs rolled out of her head. Yeah. But she said, Abby says that Paige is uh, back in the trio because she's on the top of the pyramid Yay. and that Kendall Take that look off your face. I can't take chances this week. I need to win oh, because boy. she's in Pittsburgh. Right. And I do, I do agree with that. Being in Pittsburgh, I think, is more difficult than being in other cities mm-hmm. for Abby. Just yeah. because, I mean, they're her all the studios surrounding yeah. her and everything. And I, so I could see why she really wanted to win and do good this week. Sure. Sure. Yeah. But we have Jill in the interview and she says that they're going to stick it out and be part of the team. And this is how she's treated being pulled from the trio. <sighs> I don't think that's being treated bad though. Uh-uh. Like, uh, no, um, people are pulled from trios all the time. Like we switch all the time. Yes. That's the whole but, thing of this but show. We really did all switch. Yes. But the first time we switched it, it was a shock. Like you were shocked yes. because it, that trio was never switched. Correct. Correct. And then it just became part of the show. Like it, it wasn't that big of a deal because everybody was getting different duets. Or yeah. trios. But at that yeah. part, at that point, we it's were still time. like living in a touch of reality, like a, t- yeah. a, 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 tiny, yes. a teeny tiny, like a tip of reality. Oh God. Yes. That little thing you sent me on Halloween, just the tip with the knife. Hilarious. It wasn't that funny. So we'll, we'll, funny. We'll have to um, tell that on Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> or do you think it's too bad? No, I it think might be can... too bad. No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, we'll tell you on Patreon. Remind okay. me. Okay. Uh, Maddie and Chloe 
they both have solos because they're the two champions from the last Hollywood vibe. Mm -hmm. And she says that one of them better win. <clears throat> Did you see that they were holding hands when she was saying that, like nervously yeah. holding hands? Yeah. It's funny to see, like, watch the girls. And I thought there was a lot of that in this episode. Like I was doing a lot of like watching their faces and you can start to see the decline oh. in their mental okay. health. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, I, when we get there, I have pictures to show you. Uh, uh -huh. I took pictures of Chloe and Paige's face. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you did. So Abby dismisses us all and tells the girls, not you guys, you guys spread apart and let's go. And we have five days till competition. And the last time we were at Hollywood Vibe, the group lost. That, that was the bully dance, right? The what? The bully dance with Peyton. I think so. Yeah, I think so as well. And they also got the, um, the is it called a Chiron? I think at the bottom of the screen, like the little thing that says like what's happening. They said that this group dance was contemporary. Uh, it was jazz. It was not yeah, a contemporary definitely. dance. It was definitely, yeah. It's, uh, but again. They like, get that wrong. They, get, they had it wrong twice the last week. Yeah. 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 So Abby's <laughs> this, in interview. This makes me laugh. At yeah, Abby's in the interview and says that the group dance is private eyes and that every few years she does something kind of Dick Tracy, private eye, Charlie Angels. And she wants it to have something extra. And the extra <laughs> is the guns. She goes, so guns. Yeah. <laughs> like, obviously, yeah. we're going to go with the guns. I'm like, oh, God. OK. But she wants it to be edgy and she needs spies and detectives. Well, I'm a good spy. How about you? Yes. I'm We're a very good, good spy. Spies. I'm a very good spy. She should have had us do this one. This yes. should have been the mom dance. Yes. Instead of that one Kathy did. Oh, God. Oh. The I did you see Kathy ever. got a hip replacement? I did see that. I Holy did. Shit, she is old. I guess so. <laughs> Easy. That is so mean. That is so mean. But uh, no, I seriously, did something happen or was it? Just no, I remember her telling us like 10 years ago that she had really bad hips from dancing, like ballet, the turnout. Yeah, from dancing. Yeah. yeah and she said, sucks. I think it said even in the caption, like, or wherever, I think it said somewhere like hip replacement 40 years in the making or something. So she's okay. obviously struggled with that yeah. a long time. That sucks. Cause she, I mean, I'm not like, she's too young to have a hip replacement. Yes, I agree. I mean, I, I joke and say she's old, yeah, but I mean, but she's no. definitely too young for a hip replacement. For sure. And that's a major recovery. Yeah. Like that's yeah. a big time recovery. Yeah. I feel bad for her. I do feel bad. But so we go to Melissa and Melissa says that she hopes that they're using their fingers for guns. <laughs> she knows that guns aren't allowed. <laughs> we can get disqualified. Oh, that's mm -hmm. Chloe Bader. But it's true in dance competition rules, they say things like no weapons, no fire on stage, yeah. no live animals. They I don't know do, why they we were do allowed. They have those rules. I mean, yeah. maybe because they were plastic, but still. I, it's I don't still know. a gun. It's it still doesn't a gun. matter. I don't care if it's a squirt gun. Like, right. I, I mean, people have been killed because they pulled out a squirt gun and somebody thought it was a real gun. A real like, gun. Do you know what I mean? So yep. I, I, I do not agree with that, but mm -hmm. whatever. Pick and choose our arguments. Nah. But you're upstairs saying that, you know, we should not be allowed to use guns. And Holly is like, absolutely. We need to put our foot down. And Jill's like, no problem with the gun. She, she has no problem with the gun or the idea. We know Jill, just so Kendall yeah. has a special heart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like we know, we know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here's my uh. gun. Yes. But Holly thinks that we should have standards. Um, they should be, they shouldn't be dancing with guns. Holly, our so. standards are so long gone and it's only yes. season two. Yes. <laughs> yes. You say about them, for, they're going to, you're going to blow away the competition. And Jill says, if we can't, if you can't beat them, shoot them. <laughs> she said that? Yes. She said, if you can't beat them, shoot them. I did not know she said, oh my God, yes. we're terrible yeah. people. But, you know, when you're in the moment, you don't really realize what you're saying. And you don't no. realize that it's going to be on TV. That's exactly you know? right. Because you can yeah. say stuff. The group that you're with gets what you gets mean. It. Because of all the rest of the conversation with it. Yeah. And also yeah. they know you better because like you're exactly. being funny and they know that you don't really mean that, but you're kind of just being like a sarcastic asshole in the moment. And then yeah. they put it on TV and then people jump in your DMs and tell you to go kill yourself. It's a great mm -hmm. business cycle. Yes. 
But you tell us that it, the music, I guess the music, because you say it doesn't sound like Charlie's Angels. Hmm. I missed you, all of this. Yeah, you said sound, but I thought it was more like, I don't know. Hmm. I thought it was like the dance didn't look like Charlie's Angels, but that's what you said. Okay. I believe you. And Melissa says that she's glad that Paige is in the trio. Oh, did you see Jill? And you say, I am too. And I am smiling ear to ear. Like the and Cheshire Jill cat. is like, wants to like Kill shoot me. Mm-hmm. Oh she my wants- goodness. And she's, Jill's like, I don't understand why. I thought for sure Kendall would be back in. I don't know why she thought that. I don't either. Because I thought for sure Paige would be back in. Right who was originally in it. And then here's where I have my wise words in my interview, because I say that she said, you Jill's should a, be upset. Yes. It's, you say Jill's upset. Kendall's not in the trio, but when Paige wasn't in the trio, Jill couldn't understand why Kelly was upset. Yeah. Jill wants, and you say, Jill, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. <laughs> it's so stupid, but it means, I mean, <laughs> but it's, but true. It, it's true, yeah. but it was this really stupid yeah. way to say it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we got it. And then we go to Holly. And I do feel ba- bad for Holly this week. I think Nia, well, other than Kenzie, but um, Nia is the only one that really doesn't have anything special in the group. Oh, Brooke doesn't either. Yeah, but. Yeah, that's Brooke and Holly, or Brooke and Nia. But Nia did so well last week. That's exactly what I was going to say. You know? And I want to know what is up with Jill constantly harping on Holly not being there. I don't remember that I in real life. I don't remember that being a point that was brought up over and over at all. And Mm -hmm. I kind of wish that I had remembered it because I definitely would have jumped on that argument. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's such crap. Well, Holly says that she's feeling left out for her child. um, Who's been there since she was the age of three. Sure. Meaning that Jill's only been there for three weeks and Mm -hmm. Holly has been there for since she was three. Jill says, Holly, maybe if you were here more often and Abby thought you were more a part of the team, Nia would get more parts. Uh, We all just went like, I know in in amazement that that came out of her mouth. I know. Like we're all all in amazement when that comes out of Abby's mouth, Uh let alone one of the moms. Right. I I thought that was pretty low. A mom kind of should get it. I think. You know, like yeah. even if you're not a working mom, like you get that you have other obligations, but I just, I didn't realize that she brought that up because this is what the second or third episode she's brought it up. And I'm just like, yeah. oh my yeah. God. But I loved what Holly said because uh, Holly never really has smart yes. comments. She says, I don't want to pay more for it, but uh, yes, I want my child to feel good. <laughs> yes, I did hear that. And I loved it. Which is really funny that she said that because then I say something similar right away that I'm sure you're going to talk about. And Jill jumps on my ass about it. But I'm like, wait, Holly just said the same thing. But I guess Holly's delivery might be nicer than mine. I don't know. I have that you you say it looks like Kendall's getting a special part. You should be happy about that. And I said money well spent. (laughs) Oh, and it comes up next. Um, Jill (laughs) said, pat me on the back. Maybe I'll do something right. (laughs) And you say that's money well spent on those gifts. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Holly just said it. She's like, I'm not willing to pay for it. And then the minute I say yeah, it's money well thing. spent, she's like, you Holly's just, just a little my- more discreet about it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But then Jill's upset that we jumped down her throat. We act like she slashed our tires. Yeah. I've done nothing. She's done nothing wrong. And I'm trying to make it better for me and my daughter here. Do you see me, you and Holly's reactions? <laughs> I we we are that. like, really? That's uh, funny. But I love that you go. So if our tires get slashed. <laughs> no, if the gifts don't work, watch your tires. Oh. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> true. True. Oh, true, God. true. She'd have been slashing blueberry. Poor little blueberry. So then we go to a scene of the parking lot and we all got to see all those major potholes. Holes. But Abby's sitting at the front desk and she sees Jill pulling into the parking lot and says, oh my goodness. For Abby to know that something's up, that's pretty bad. <laughs> uh-huh. So Jill sees how presents go over well with Abby. So she bought her a little something and she gives Abby a bench for the I out in the front even. to spruce up the front of the building. How about the plaque? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? 
Yeah. And Abby's like, thank you so much. And they all hug and everything's so great. Well, Abby goes, you know, everybody's going to want to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the best thing Abby said the whole episode. It, it, yeah. Like sh- we sure will. Mm-hmm. Right when she gives it to her, me and my kids are walking in. I am howling and, at you. And Holly and Nia are right behind us. And I'm like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> and I lean over and I read the plaque and I'm like, to Abby Lee, love Jill and Kendall. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> well, right there, that just goes to show how much that <coughs> Jill didn't really know Abby because nobody calls her Abby Lee unless yeah. you don't know her. Like yeah. people who watch the show are always like, Abby Lee, she doesn't go by Abby Lee. Like we call yeah. her Abby. And so yeah. it was funny that it said to Abby Lee on there. So I am just like, thinking she's nuts. And she's like, it's just a little something. It's not for Abby. It's for the studio. Oh, no, wait. You skipped Holly saying she has seen it all, but no, that's I... coming up next. Oh, is it? I'm sorry. Go yeah. ahead. Because then I walk away and I say, for the love of God. Yeah. And Abby says, or Holly says, a bench dedicated to Abby. And she shakes her head and says, I've seen it all now. Yeah. <laughs> and then you walk in and are like, uh, you say, Good Lord. (laughs) My face is just sheer disgust. (sighs) Who was the guy carrying in the. No idea. And moving all the trophies and stuff around. I didn't know who he was. I'm thinking maybe he came with Jill, maybe Jill's neighbor or something came to help her unload it in case Abby or nobody was there. I don't know. Could it have been a PA that was only there for a week or two, like a substitute? That we PA? maybe just didn't see. I don't know, but I never saw him before. He did. I did not recognize him. I thought I have the same note. I'm like, who's the guy? Like, I don't yeah. know him. So then we're upstairs and you hear Holly saying, it's like a shrine to Abby. And you're <laughs> like, no, it's a shrine to Jill. <laughs> and in your interview, you're like, I thought Melissa was bad, <laughs> but Jill has just raised the ante. Brown nosy. <laughs> well, okay. Sorry. Yeah, she did. She did. And then you say, maybe you'll get to the top of the ask his pyramid. I hate myself for that. I was like, did I really just, I had to stop and back it up. I'm like, I'm such a bitch. Okay. But, but when you're saying about the ask his pyramid, they show Jill and Abby sitting on the bench with their I- arm around each other. Like, oh <laughs> my God, make me puke. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. If that if that's what happens when you buy our present, I'm not buying. No, that. thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass, pass. Pass. You say now Melissa is going to be running around trying to brown out brown nose Jill. <laughs> You're like all bets are off at the oh, ALD. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> but Jill thinks we could have been a little more receptive mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. about the bench. Like, yeah. It's not for Abby, it's for the studio. Uh, And you're like, except the plaque says, Abby Abby Lee, love Jill and Kendall. (laughs) I mean, look, it doesn't take a detective to know that or to read that. Yes. Say what you want, but there's a plaque there. Jill says that uh, we're trying to push her out. I don't even know how this all gets started. I don't either. And then you're like, it's because you're a diva. And a table for one. And then she's kind of like, well, buying things isn't a diva. You should know what that is about. You know, I don't. So I'm right. thinking she's calling you a diva. She's, she's pretty much saying you're a bitch, Christy. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, she's, please. I'm going to call her a bitch in just a minute. So come on. Yeah. I, and you say, I don't have to buy my way, way through life, Jill. And then in your interview, you say, it drives me crazy. Jill thinks she can buy her way to the top. Chloe works very hard and never gets a special treatment. She can storm out of here right now because we'd like to talk about her. Oh, that's what I said. I go, if you're going to storm could, out, I said, go ahead and storm out because we'd like to talk we about you. We want to talk about you now. <laughs> Called her a yeah. conniving bitch. Because she said, if you want to say something about me, say it in front say of it me. Say to I'm my like, face. I'm yeah, like, I think you're a conniving bitch. That was my favorite line right there. Then I'm, I'm, a, I'm putting a start. When you say, I think you're a conniving bitch. <laughs> and Jill's like, that's immature. And you're like, oh my God. And you have the squeakiest voice there. 
I'm I like, know. Oh my God, Chris, you got a squeaky voice. And yeah. You're, and yeah. You're, like, you're the most consenting person I've ever encountered. <laughs> and Jill's like, <clears throat> you don't get out much, but we know that. And like, oh, you better watch your step right there. <laughs> Well, I just want to say to Jill, like you're saying, I don't get out much. I'm sorry. Deep Creek, Maryland. Isn't my idea of like seeing the world. That's her yeah. trip that she takes that she like is so worldly. And I'm like, yeah. okay, I don't get out much. I hate that. And Abby does it later when she calls me white trash. I hate that. They always like go to those digs that I'm so unrefined and so trashy. Cause I don't see the world, but guess what? You're both on the same show I'm on and you're both doing the same shit that I'm doing. So yeah. we're all trash. Yes, we are. But how about I'm behaving? I know you're just sitting I there all quiet. Girl. I am yeah. a good girl. You are a good girl. <laughs> so the girls are uh, rehearsing and competition is three days away. And, you know, Abby's like having the girls change places, Brooke and Nia change places. And she says that she's worried about the routine and we're upstairs and Melissa and Jill are like on their phones. They're probably texting each other. Uh, Remember how we used to do that mm-hmm, shit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we, we couldn't say things. So like we would like be on our phones acting like we're like checking our emails. Meanwhile, we're texting each other. I'm like, don't say it. I'm like, <laughs> or I'm like, did you see that this one's an idiot? How about this? Yeah. But um, Holly says that the dance still isn't done. And you're like, what is done is a little hokey. And I'm like, ooh, look at Abby. <laughs> Abby's doing her dance moves. And you're like, oh. is that her sexy come hither look? Ew. And at the same time, I'm saying, I think that's her sexy look. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, another one of my favorite lines is you say, explain no further why we're not married. <laughs> I'm and I am, drink, I am drinking something out of a coffee cup. I did see that. Was- you, know, you used to hide yours behind the step. I did. It, yes. It looks like I'm the only one sitting there drinking. You had the <laughs> coffee cup too, and you just hid yours. I just put it all out in the open. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> then we go back down to the dance room and Abby's oh. watching the girls dance and she's watching Nia and she tells her she didn't bend her knee and <sighs> for her to get down and do 10 push ups. Uh huh. Then. She watches Kendall and she says, get down and do 20 push up. Your knee was bent. Uh, I'm uh, upstairs and are you guys paying attention to that in there? Uh, and Holly's like, they're doing push ups. Why? And Abby screams, Kendall, you were only, you, we only have three days for you not to screw up this section. Oh, God. And Abby motions for Jill to come down. Oh. Holly's like, good luck. And you're like, may the force be with you. Yeah. <laughs> See, now look, we can pick on Jill all you want, but when it gets yeah. time to go down in there, we're all on one side. It's oh, not I love, Abby. I love when Jill goes in there because they used to make me go in there all the time. Oh. And now Jill is willing to go in there. So I kind of get a break and I love it. I'm I love it. Yes. Well, don't worry, you're gonna go in soon. I know, I know. So Abby dismisses all the girls and but Kendall. Um, Abby says, I gave Kendall a special part and now she's getting sloppy with it and it is forgetting it. Abby says to Jill, you, you can't be mommy the shoulder to cry on. You need to be as tough as Abby. I don't know. I, I think somebody needs to be nice around. Because uh, otherwise, I think our kids would like use the gun for something else. Exactly. <laughs> or jump, jump off of the building like Paige and where have all the children gone? Yeah. But, but Jill like, says, you can it. count on her. You can. She got this. And Jill's going to get um, her a private. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. I was just going to say good luck scheduling that. Yeah. She's like, I'm willing to pay for a private. Yes. Yeah, so are we all. Yeah. But we, we just, just can't get on can't the schedule. It. Exactly. Although Jill's friends with Melissa. So maybe she has a better shot. Maybe. Yes. Although when they do show Kendall doing the rehearsal for the private, she's not in there with a the teacher. <laughs> so I guess she didn't get the private. <laughs> she's just in there by herself. Oh, really? Yes. So then we go to the trio and Abby says that they'd learned this trio months ago, that this would just be a refresher for them. Abby says, Paige, you know, Chloe goes out, Maddie goes out, Paige goes out and she's like, Paige, where are your hands? Mm -hmm. Um, Why aren't they where Maddie's are? You should look in the mirror and figure that out. Right. But then if she looks in the mirror, she's going to scream. Why are you watching Maddie? Yes. If Paige said like, where are they supposed to be? She would have got yelled at because- she was stupid. She, Why didn't she was you know? asking? Yes. Right. So, you know, you can't win. No. 
And you're, we're about to find out just how much you can't win. Yes. Abby's like, where's your foot in the passe coupe? Um, you're too old for these little corrections. Now remember, she says little corrections. So then Abby's in the interview and she said, I thought putting Paige at the top would build her self-esteem and give her uh, the shot in the arm she needed. Big mistake. Okay. Now, first of all, I thought Paige was at the top of the pyramid because she won. Not putting her on top because it was going to give her a shot in the arm. But I want to point out to you that Abby is doing the exact same thing to Paige with her being on top of the pyramid that she did with Chloe the week she was at the top of the pyramid. She's going to torture them until they can't stand it because she's pissed that they're at the top of the pyramid. They had to be at the top. Yes. And she knows if she does that, it gets them flustered and then they mess up. That's exactly what I mean. Like yeah. she's pissed that they're there, but then she knows how to manipulate the situation to make sure that they fail. It's yeah, terrible. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And that's what she does. She And she knows Paige always gets mm-hmm. flustered because that's the kind of kid Paige is. And we get into that, but Abby gets in Paige's face and says, I've had it with you. Ugh. And I'm like, what is she saying? And Abby um, says, you haven't been here for a month. Your mom sits up there and screams. Like I'm upstairs saying to you guys, yeah. like she'll say it to me. She won't say it to me, but she'll say it to my 10 year old. Exactly. Like, why get in a 10 year old's face? Paige wasn't there because I didn't drive her there. Exactly. Paige is 10 and doesn't have a driver's license. And Uber so, didn't exist. Exactly. So Paige is not there because of her mother. So speak to her mother about it. And I hate when she gets like close in, oh. in, her, in her face. Like, and then she's like, why are you crying? Because I have this huge body in my face screaming at me and I'm scared of you. Yes. You're 14 times my size (laughs) and you can see Paige start to look around frantically. Like here, here's my picture. I saved. Yep. Here's my picture. I saved. Wait till you see her face. Oh, get closer. Yeah. 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 She's looking up at me like frantically. Yeah. Save me. Mm -hmm. save me mom and this is when it starts for me christy yeah and i have a question on patreon because for some reason i got some patreon questions on my email good i got two on my email but um i don't know how that happened (laughs) someone asked when did like Mm. like my relationship with abby and stuff start changing this is when is when my kids look at me help me yes like there's nothing worse than your child to look at you and with that look and you not be able to do anything about it. I, I just can't even like explain the feeling that you have when that happens. No. And what's so funny is that people who want to always jump to judging us are always like, if you don't like it, take your kid out of there. How could you let your kid be treated this way? And it's like, there are so many layers that we just we're not in control of. It wasn't as easy as just like, Oh, if I don't like it, my kid's not going to dance there. It, yeah. If it were a regular situation, but people forget that there's so much more to it because it's we're on TV and guess what? Guess what people like? They like the drama. Who's Abby yeah. picking on our kids. Guess yeah. what else? I people, people liked us. People wanted to see us. We were an important part of the cast. They weren't just going to be like, bye guys, because yeah. look what happened when we left ratings go down. Yep. So it's not as easy as just walking out. And trust me, when I tell you watching this scene made me sick to my stomach because it goes from Paige to Chloe. Yeah. I have Chloe's picture next. So then Abby says that you should have remembered Paige should have remembered the trio. We just watched it. She just gave her little corrections, like Mm -hmm. her, where her arms were, her leg on her posse. She didn't forget the dance. It was as she said, little corrections. Like what a dance teacher She's would in try. her face, in her face, screaming at her. That's why you have practice is to, to correct those little yes. corrections. That's yes. why she is in the room having the corrections done. Mm-hmm. So I go downstairs. Then I'm in interview saying that I've been with Abby since I was two and a half. And I understand that she's hard on dancers, but it's hard as a mom to watch your kid down there crying. And that's what I just, uh, yeah. that's what I just said earlier. And I don't even go in the room. I just open the door and I ask Paige to come out. Right. And Abby says, uh, it is as stupid as does. She's uh, done. I can't stand it anymore. Like, why does she have to say stupid is stupid does? It's so, it's so. But, but she's allowed to say that about me. But if I say she's bullying my child, 
they're not allowed to put that on. Mm-hmm. So, so why are you allowed to call me a, a drunk and stupid. a couple weeks ago? Stupid. You know, a couple minutes, she calls my kid a ding dong. No, you she know? calls Chloe a ding dong, Kel. It's Chloe. I thought it was Paige. I went back oh, and I watched it. it. Paige. It's but not. whoever. I don't care who yeah. she's calling it. You're, why is she allowed to call a kid a ding dong? And we're not allowed to say things. Exactly. And then she starts screaming in her interview that it's bad parenting. I actually so disagree that that is the opposite of bad parenting. It's good parenting. You're trying to protect your child. Yes. Thank you. Because she was in her face. What if, if a teacher did that at school, they'd be fired went, immediately. Exactly. If they went bent down in her face and screamed in her face, they would at least be suspended. Right. I love that she says, even a preschool mom knows you don't yes. you let the teacher teach or whatever. Let the teacher handle it. But ob- obviously Abby doesn't handle it. No, because it's not way. handling the situation. It's let's see how, how far we can push these kids until they emotionally break. Yeah. So then I'm, I pull Paige out of the room and I'm telling her, um, why do you let her bother you? You know, mm-hmm. I don't get it. Um, just look at her and be like, who cares, Miss Abby? And then I'm in an interview saying Paige is a sensitive kid. And that's how I want her to be. Mm -hmm. Abby flips out. um, She says it's not professional. Well, Paige is not a professional. She's a 10 year old little girl at dance class. Yes. She's a 10 year old little girl at dance class. This is supposed to be fun. Exactly. It's going to get dark really quick. Every day crying, you Mm -hmm. know? So I ask her if she doesn't want to do it. And Paige is like, no, I want to do it, but she's going to be mad at me. Oh, which made me feel so bad because I know. she's going to be mad at her because I pulled her out of the room. I know. I, like I, I have on my notes for all the moms listening, like, what would you do in that situation? It put me in the situation that I either let my daughter be in there looking up at me like, mom, please come and save me. And my daughter in tears, or I go down and I get her out. But then she's afraid to go in because I got her in trouble. Exactly. I don't know what to do. And I'm not. You're not winning no matter what. she said that in an interview, I felt so bad because I'm like, she's only feeling that way because I pulled her out of the room. But should I let her in there and Abby in her face screaming at her? No, no. I I just, I I just don't know what I'm supposed to do in that situation. So I, I have that on there for me to ask you, mom. So send me some comments on what I, what we're supposed to do in those situations. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to know. Or what you would do, you know? Wait, I'm thinking the people who listen to this podcast would be like, I'd punch that bitch in the face because <laughs> the yeah. people who listen are like, our I should have did it in season two instead of season four ladies. Yeah, yeah exactly. Gentlemen. So I tell Paige to, you know, get control of herself, let's stop crying and go in. And if she tells you you're done, walk out. And I'll walk in. <laughs> mm-hmm. I thought that was great. I do. Yeah. And I'm like, it's not worth it. It's a stupid dance. And it is. It's a dance. Like it's a dance. You know what, Abby? If you don't like that she has little corrections, then don't put her in it. Put Kendall back in. Right. It's one less thing Paige has to worry about. Uh, yep. And Brooke's upstairs with you and Holly. Mm-hmm. And you come downstairs. Mm-hmm. I say, give the dance to someone else to learn. And you give Paige a hug and say, don't let her win. Um, and then we tell Paige, you're bigger than her, but not um, physically. <laughs> exactly. We're like, not in size, but you're bigger than her. <laughs> tell her, it's your trio. Don't let her kick you out of it. And right there, they have Kendall walking. I, I know. That was so on purpose. Was, I know. We were talking about, and they're like, Kendall, go ahead and walk out the door. I know. I saw that too. And I was like, it, oh my God. It looks like we were talking about her in front of her. And, I know. And like, and we weren't. Mm-mm. I know. And literally I had that written on my notes. I'm like, seriously, Kendall. Yeah. Yeah. But we send her in the room and say, and you say again, it's your dance page. And then we go to Paige and she's at interview and says, I don't like when Abby's hard on us. It makes us nervous. No kidding. If if we do something wrong, we're going to get it. Oh, and like it, that just, it kills me. Cause know. you know, when, when you watch it, it's different because we aren't in there when the kids are get, doing their interviews. So we don't know what the kids are Mm-mm. saying. So Mm-mm. to see it, yeah. it, it kind of breaks your heart whenever you go back and you see your kids saying that. Uh, let me just say, so Chloe's home this today. She came home for the weekend and she was sleeping on my couch. When I was watching this, I was watching it in the kitchen and the entire time I was watching this, I was so upset for Chloe, like, cause this next part it's about, yeah. I thought it was about yeah. Paige, but it's about Chloe. I, I kept going over to her on the couch, just like 
touching her foot while she was sleeping and being like, okay, you're okay. Yeah. It still makes you feel like an actual physical oh. reaction all these years yeah. later. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but Abby says Hollywood vibes in three days, you know, don't leave again. Cause there's another kid waiting to get in again. She's threatening to replace her, but they like, quit saying like, she says that to make the kid feel bad and get the kid upset because there's no way Abby can throw her out and replace her because we have no a way. contract. Yep. So why say it and make her feel bad? Mm-hmm. Like a 10 year old doesn't understand the concept of you have a contract page. You can't be thrown out. Exactly. She just understands that her dance teacher is threatening to throw her out. So then mm-hmm. Abby screams, ding dong, one, mm-hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then eight would be in second, not one and and eight whatever that's when I pulled played it back and it was Chloe who did it because she stepped and eight and that's when I watched it I thought she was screaming to Abby and I was gonna say to you Chloe did it that way too yeah but Mm -mm. she was screaming at Chloe I thought she was screaming at Paige because she started screaming it when Paige went yeah but okay she was looking at Chloe and then it it like spiraled about her. So then you had Paige crying and then Chloe starts to cry. Yes. So she says that this is a routine that they learned three months ago. Um, they didn't forget it because the kid, their kids, they forgot it because they're irresponsible dancers. Ugh. They were supposed to practice it on their own. Sure. Uh, but it's a waste of her time. Sure. Mm-hmm. And here's my picture of Chloe. Ugh. So when you look down and you see your kid making that kind of face, like it's hurtful as a mom. It still makes my stomach hurt. I know. I know. When I saw pages, I was like, that's why I took a picture. I was like, ugh, it's just, Mm -hmm. it's terrible. It is terrible. But so Chloe's crying and Abby says, stop crying, Chloe. Eight means eight, not nine and a half, not 10, eight. And, and then she goes, she's not even listening, not even to, listening what I'm to what I'm saying. Chloe's listening. She's trying to get herself together because you're telling her to stop yeah. crying. So yeah. she might not be looking at you because looking at and you then, makes her cry more. So then Abby says, if you don't want to go, I'll call and try to get our money back because I'm not going to go and let what happened with the other trio in St. Louis happen again. And I wanted to say to her, well, this isn't the same trio. That was with Kendall that you lost. Because remember the... Trio with Paige, Brooke, and Chloe never lost. They- no, no, we didn't lose until this one. We yeah. lose today. But didn't Melissa say a couple of weeks ago when Jill was saying about oh, yeah. it, that we were undefeated. We were. As, as up to this point, we were undefeated. Absolutely. We were definitely so undefeated. Maybe she yep. shouldn't have messed it up because this week it's get screwed up. Yep. Maybe she got them all flustered, yeah. switching it up. But you say you're done and you go. Abby's an interview saying <laughs> what that she made was that was I politically correct no was I furious yes I want them to go home and get some sleep they're yawning in my face and they don't know how to count to eight Abby's sitting there talking to Melissa and me and you and the three girls are down the hallway like hiding and they're sobbing crying yeah. sobbing crying, and we're like hiding from her and but I just can't. Even. Well, and then she's like, go home. I don't need tears. And she goes, you're nine, you're 10, nine and 11, 10 and 11 years old. And you're like, exactly. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh, and then she <clears throat> says that, you know, oh, every child make mistakes, but they're, these mothers are enabling to, to make them and not own them. No, we're trying to comfort them so they can get their brain straight so they can go back in exactly. and do it right for you. Yeah. screaming at them until they're like incapacitated isn't going to like get make the mistakes go away and then i i say in my interview i don't know if i'm an interview or not but i say my daughter was at the top of the pyramid and she's sitting here crying yeah you were packing up we were in the dressing yeah. room yeah and i'm like and then i say fuck the pyramid <laughs> yeah <laughs> it, because being on the top of the pyramid is supposed to be a good thing and, and it's a death sentence for you that week you know if you're yeah. the top if you're not maddie or mackenzie you're getting yeah tortured. then you're going to be tortured that week so why why want to be there okay so abby walks in and says um are all the tears <sighs> over what were all the tears about she doesn't understand and you're like you don't understand and your squeaky voice again mm-hmm <laughs> They're screaming at little kids' faces. And then she gets she's screaming at little kids' faces. Uh, can you imagine if we did that to her? Oh, oh my goodness. She would have yes. killed us. <laughs> yes. I'm like speechless. I know. 
<sighs> I know. Yeah. And then she tells me then to she grow bends up. down oh, and no. screams in their faces again and tells mm-hmm. them to grow up. They like, get out of their face. And then I say, you grow up. Okay. But then we go to Melissa's interview. Oh, yes. And she says, Abby's the best. She's uh, just saying what they forgot in the trio. It was no big deal because she wasn't in your kid's face screaming. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. No. She's the best. Yeah. She's the best at uh, being mean. I'm trying I to see. Take my you're very off. flustered. I Because I can't see. And the glasses are driving me crazy with these, these on. Like they keep like getting messed up and my ears hurt and I'm a mess. But I have to wear my glasses. I tried not to wear them earlier and I couldn't read. Because I can't see. I'm old. Jesus oh my God. God this is the messiest episode we've done. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's not you. We're all messy. Uh, or we're both messy, I should say. Uh, so then you say that you're lucky you have Chloe as a student. Um, she's a great dancer and everyone knows it but you. And Abby says, I made her. I know it. And you're oh, like, boy. were you pregnant with her for nine months? No, I made her. <laughs> you didn't give a shit about her for, for years. I taught her what to do because you were too busy looking at everyone else. And Abby's like, who else was I looking at? With that smirky face. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because she's trying to set me up to be like, oh, Maddie. So she could be like, oh, you're jealous. So like you leave and say, let's guess who. And I just laugh. <laughs> I know. I know. I like that. Uh, so you're an interview and you tell Abby that Abby doesn't put any value on anyone in her studio, but Maddie and those kids know it. And it's a shame. It is a shame. It is. And and, and it's very obvious that she only, I mean, I'm not going to say she doesn't do it to anyone in the studio, but our kids on, on this team, yes. on this show she definitely only shows it to maddie and yes. and everybody knows it I and mean, it's the kids, hurtful to the, the kids children. know it and us yes. moms know it yeah and abby says um as you're leaving i'm disrespectful disrespectful and i tell her and she's the you definition you tell her that she's the definition of disrespectful and abby screams my mom would have came in and beat my butt if i couldn't count to eight <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay she would have been mortified and then calls us white trash i uh, know yeah and she didn't sign up for this when <laughs> well, you we didn't up- sign up for this treatment either yeah no you know, she didn't sign up for us not being able to do whatever but we didn't sign up for you to treat our kids this way no so we're, we're even absolutely oh that whole thing just made me disgustingly sick this, this, I definitely started to drink on. I'm like, oh God, this is horrible. So we have two days to the competition. Abby's wearing a headband. Headband! Happy <laughs> moment. Yay. Yay. Drink. Drink. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's, let's let you. all of it go. All right. So you're in an interview and you say everyone went home to regroup. Um, Cause talking to Abby is like talking to a brick wall. You might as well <laughs> save your breath. And I wasn't wearing sequins. I had a oh chain my God, on. That's I had a like miracle. a chain choker. That is a miracle. I know. I it's actually didn't mind too. my shirt. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to it. It wasn't anything great. It just wasn't sequins. So I didn't mind it. So we're upstairs and we're watching the girls dance and you're like, Ooh, look, there's guns. <laughs> and I'm like, I hope we go and we get disqualified <laughs> just to piss Abby off. I <laughs> cracked up when you said that. That was so yeah. funny. Yeah. But we, I looked down at the kids and the kids are like, they're loving them. Like Chloe is like getting ready to blow it. She's, She's doing it. Yeah. They're, they're, they are loving the guns. They are <laughs> loving it. So Maddie tells us on our interview that she knows the difference between a real gun and a fake gun and that she would never touch a real gun, but a fake gun as a prop in a dance and she's fine with. So Abby tells them, be strong with that gun. Oh, God. (laughs) Chloe says she hopes Abby didn't literally mean when she said (laughs) we're going to be using guns and to blow the cost, the competition away because we could get disqualified. (laughs) I, do you think somebody told her to say that or you think Chloe came up with that shit herself i'll have to ask her she's here i do have to ask yeah. her because that was pretty funny that little face though when she said it I know. Like, funny 
It was yeah. really funny. And I'm that's the kind of thing that when I see it, I'm like, no wonder why people loved our kids. Our kids are like the funniest, cutest, most charming little things. Uh-huh. But Holly tells us a common sense should tell you when something is not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, Abby doesn't have common sense, Holly. Uh, yeah. And she thinks that the girls performing with guns is a poor choice and she does not support it. Um, the dance doesn't need it. It is not appropriate for anyone to play with guns on stage. Okay, <clears throat> Hall, I agree. Yes. Retweet. So we, all, so we all go to the front desk. Which, and- can, do you see us like, we're so hesitant to go out because you know someone was like, you need to go out, all of you together and talk to Abby. Yeah, we're all like, we would never all go out together. Oh, God, no. And every step forward Holly takes, we like take three steps. Yeah. Back. We're like, nope, nope, nope. Uh, and then Abby's reaction, hurry up. I have, I got to run. You don't have anywhere to go. It's nine o'clock it, at night. Exactly. And like, isn't this your studio and your dance? So like, yeah. you know, yeah. You're the choreographer. We heard. Yeah. But Holly says we've been watching the dance and we know we're not dance teachers, but the caliber of the dance doesn't seem as high and the guns are a bit aggressive. (laughs) And Abby says that she's done a piece with children with guns and it won and it was a brilliant piece of work. And then I rolled my eyes. Yes. And Abby says um, guns are used in choreography a lot, like in Chicago, the Broadway show. And she wants us to walk into the competition armed and dangerous. Uh, I I need to know if somebody every week, whatever the the stupid theme is, if somebody just wrote every pun they could think of and just brought it into Abby's interview. I need Mm -hmm. that's a question I have. But she wants to do fast, high energy entertainment. And that's what we entered into the competition. And that is what we're doing. Okay. Yay. So we have one day left till competition and Chloe is working on her solo Mm -hmm. and her solo is called please, which I actually Um, really love this dance. So yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. And Abby says when Chloe does lyrical routine, she second guesses herself and she needs to go on stage like she's in total control and And I am peeking like a spy. (laughs) Yeah, you are. You're like looking like Mm -hmm. like nobody can see you through that window. Nope. Nobody can see me. If I close my eyes, they definitely can't. But you think the solo has a lot of potential. It's different than normal. There's a lot of acting in it and you like the dance. You think it's pretty. Mm -hmm. I do. Yes. So then we see Maddie's solo. It's contemporary. It's called every little step. Um, Abby says that it's mature, elegant, and entertaining. And Melissa in her interview says that Maddie's solo is beautiful. She just needs to work hard like she normally does so she can get back to the top of the pyramid. Abby says every kid needs to win. Every kid needs to lose. Maddie needed to be at the bottom so she worked harder to get to the top. That thing right there that she said, like every kid needs to win, every kid needs to lose. Mm -hmm. You know, this will make her want to get to the, but it's like, I don't know. She, she like puts Maddie at the top and gives her a pep talk. But when we're at the top, we're tortured. Like, yes, I don't know. Well, even do you see what happens next in there with her? Abby gives Maddie a pep talk. Well, yeah. She goes, I don't want you at the bottom of the pyramid. Yeah. And and they high five and the, the whole thing. And it's like, you know, we, when, when she does that with us, it's like, you have to win. You have to do this. You have to do that. And you better not. Which makes you nervous where if you were getting a high five and do a good job and get, let's get you to the top of the pyramid, we'd maybe have some confidence. If you watch when we go to the dressing room, because she wants to win and I'm going to bring all the specifics up because she wants to win both categories, Chloe and Maddie's she's nice to Chloe before she dances and she dances well. So yeah. there is your evidence. So Abby calls Kendall in to do the music and Jill's like, poor Kendall. She's no, doing the music. She does not say poor Kendall. She says, poor little Kendall. Oh, poor little Kendall <laughs> yeah. is doing their music. That's unfortunate. She needs to practice. Well, Jill, poor I, little Paige was doing their music when they la, had yep. the trio. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander. gander. Is that what you said? That's what I said. In Jill's interview, she says she's up ca- upset. Uh, Kendall is using a precious time that she should be dancing and she's running music for three other kids. Jill's like, I don't understand what did me or Kendall do wrong to be (laughs) for her to be playing the 
the music and I just grab my cup of coffee and I have a big old chug. Did you hear what I said? I said, you threw a shoe. Yeah. (laughs) You you threw a shoe. You should be at the bottom of the pyramid. (laughs) I'm like, I, I still have not said a word to Jill. I know. And she's always like Christy and Kelly. But, but it, at, at the end of the episode, she blames everything on me that, uh, about things. And I st- I'm just pointing out, I still have not said one freaking word to mm-hmm. her. Um, so you're in your interview and say, I'm pretty sure that if I threw a shoe at Abby, she wouldn't even <laughs> be on the pyramid. She would be on the floor like a cigarette. Go away, <laughs> Chloe, go away. <laughs> I'll be stuffing her out like a cigarette. Go away, Chloe, go away. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> you're an asshole. <laughs> that was <laughs> funny. Uh, Jill's like their pres- their time is too precious. They don't have time to waste it. And Holly Holly's gives the eye roll. Eyes are amazing. <laughs> I know. I loved it. <sighs> and Abby screams at Kendall and uh-huh. says, "Come on!" And she's like, "Are you learning anything in here?" Kendall's like, "Oh yes, a lot yeah. of tons." And she's like, "Because that's how a trio works." And Holly says, that if you interrupt class, she'll be livid. And Jill's like, she just wants Kendall to be doing something productive, either dance or homework. All right. But Holly's trying to be logical and like logic is lost in this studio. Okay. Yeah. Holly's like, don't go down. You're being stupid. But Jill doesn't listen and she goes down and Jill says um, she should be able to talk to her dance teacher without drama, but she knows that's not going to happen. And she's nervous. And, and Holly and normal. I look at each other like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> We're like, oh, okay. <laughs> so Jill goes in and says she wants Kendall to be productive. And Abby says that she's the swing for the trio. And okay. Sure. We've never she had is. swings. Never. never had a swing ever. But, um, but that's Abby trying to like make Jill look stupid. Yeah. Yeah. But Jill wants to know how much longer we're going to be because she's been doing this trio for over an hour and you ask if Jill's yelling and I'm just sitting there sewing away. <laughs> I, I have that. I'm like, what is Kelly sewing? What I don't know. Sewing? I'm always sewing something. I have no idea. But then you're like, she took off her one 900 voice <laughs> off her Abby. And, and you and know, I say, she, she flushed, flushed that down, down the toilet. The toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Jill takes Kendall and leaves the room. And Abby says that Jill better watch out. Kendall's adorable, but uh, they need to play by her rules. And she doesn't want anything bad to happen. I'm like, what does she not want bad to happen? Yeah. But Jill and Kendall leave. Like Jill gets pissed off because Kendall was pulled from the trio, goes down and is pissed off because she had to play the music and leaves. And because I said I was upset that Paige wasn't in, I I only said it once. Like I was upset about the trio that they had Mm -hmm. un- yeah, you taking know, they, page they out. never lost and they took page out. I was like the horrible human being. She she left. Like uh, I didn't get that pissed off that I left. No, no, not at all. But I don't I don't know. I think that she forgets that like the exact same thing happened to you. And she was yeah. complaining about it. And she was only in one trio. Yeah. yeah. It's not like whatever. that was Kendall's spot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get it, but whatever. But so we're at the competition and we're walking in and Abby says the competition starts now when you're and walking those in glasses and that fur purse and that oh, fur well, we got to drink for that fur purse purse. Oh my a fur purse. God. But then she's telling us everybody's out to get us. Oh, everybody is out for us. And then they show us in the dressing room and you're painting on Chloe's Chloe's uh, muscles on yeah. her arms. <laughs> uh, I did see that. Oh, oh, he's getting on her muscles man <laughs> you know what kelly i'm gonna start using all these tips and tricks that i learned back in the day yeah. for I'm on my you, when i go to the beach i'm putting yeah. that shit i'm painting my abs on same man, I'll here. Be really good just can't go in the water because they'll all wash off fall off but i mean yeah. why don't we apply our skills to ourselves yeah. do you remember when you wanted to learn how to do fake eyelashes to each other and I don't mean the strips. I mean like yeah. eyelash extensions with like the no medical much, yeah. glue. I still want to. I bought the stuff. <laughs> How are you doing it to yourself? I can't. I bought it for you to do to me. Oh, I Christ. $300 on the oh, glue my God. and the, the lashes. And you never did it for me. <laughs> do you remember when we brought the spray tan machines? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were assholes. 
we, I forgot we both bought them. I knew I bought one. We bought them from my sister's nephew. Did we? I don't know what we did, but we had the tent. I don't think I used something. that once. I did in my garage and it was oh, a disaster. Did you? Yeah, it was not good. <laughs> See, they really missed out on doing and a Christy I would say and Brooke, Kelly show. Me, I did it to myself. And then I would say to Brooke, like when she was going to her school dance, like, let me spray tan you. Like, you're oh, yeah, no. your tan. She's like, absolutely <laughs> not, mom. You are not spraying me with nothing. See, again, I'm this like, would have I been. I bought the machine. She's yeah. like, I don't care. I'm either going and having it done professionally or I'm going white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what's rude about that, though? Is every week we let those little bitches look great on national television, but we did their hair and makeup. I know. I See, know. they don't trust us. And I they know. always looked fabulous well, when we, we just did it. We just had my niece's wedding and I uh-huh. didn't get to go because of the hurricane. But when we were going, they had makeup artists and um, like hairdressers there yeah. to get girls ready if you want it. And my kids opted out because they were going to have me do their hair and makeup. See that? I was like. See? see, mom knows what the hell she's doing. Absolutely. I know, but see, they didn't think that back then. No, yeah, at all. Yeah. Meanwhile, but. they looked the most fabulous when we did them. It's yes. when they looked crazy in interview, we weren't doing them. Because we weren't doing them, yeah. So Abby has an interview and she tells us that she's nervous about Chloe's solo, that the inter- intermediate category is tough to be in. Oh, now wait, make a note of that. She says the intermediate category. So when we get to awards, I'm going to point that out. And I want to take a note of this. Abby was giving Maddie some corrections. I saw that. On TV. Yes. Because usually those are done in the private before we start filming. Yes. Yeah. But um, you're in your interview and you say that you hope it goes well. Um, No one wants the wrath of Abby. And Abby gives Chloe a pep talk. And she says, you can do it. It it doesn't matter how old these girls, these kids are. You just give your best performance, which was very nice. Yes. And Chloe danced well. Yeah. That's all it takes. That's all I say every week. I I never say, said once that I was jealous of Maddie or Chloe or anybody. Just give everybody the same treatment. Yes. The same type of costume, the same type of private talk, the the same same talk, the same, you know, checking your hairpiece. Like that's all anybody asked for. I don't care if my kid got 10th place. Yes. If she got the same treatment, but I it think been fun. that the show would have been more interesting because it yeah. wouldn't have been the same. It would have been, fair. It yes. would have been a fair fight. And yes. It wasn't. Yeah. And look, and I'm saying that coming from someone, Chloe always had a good costume yeah. and I still would step up to the plate and say, give them all a fair chance and see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so Chloe's in an interview. She says she's excited for the solo, that she thinks it's going to be a good solo for her. Hmm. She dances. And um, it's the costume for that dance. Was that costume made for that dance? Or yes. was the song for, not for that dance? No, it was. And I remember Abby getting pissed off who because it wasn't blue. ordered the costume that it wasn't, it wasn't blue. blue because I, of the I, blue balloon. I, yes. Well, I heard the word blue balloon and I looked up and I'm like, that is a purple costume. And I'm like, Abby did not do that. Nope. She I, did I, not. I knew mm-hmm. 100% Abby did not do that because if it said blue in it, your costume was blue. And she literally or, said what? that she had an argument with someone because someone oh, really? ordered that costume. And she said, I would have never put her in purple for this. She would have had a blue costume. Absolutely. I I knew that as soon as I heard the music and I saw the costume, I was like, and that was the costume. And that was the real music. So I have this to share on Patreon. I will definitely share this like extra for that, the platinum level. Oh, okay. So funny that, you know, that, cause I specifically, Oh, I, Oh, I definitely know that. Yeah. Yeah. I know all I was thinking, which, yep. is, which is freaking scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my computer's going to die. Hold on, people. Okay. So Chloe goes on. You thought Chloe's solo was amazing and you thought it was the best solo to date. Mm-hmm. And Abby said, has an interview and says that Chloe's solo was also amazing mm-hmm. and that that was the, her best emotional execution that she has ever saw Chloe do. Yeah. I thought that was great that she said that. I did too. Yeah. And Maddie's interview and says that she's afraid she's going to fall again. Like she did last week. Maddie does her solo. Then Melissa's interview and says, when I see Maddie on stage, all the blood and sweat and tears is all worth it. 
Well, I don't know. She didn't have very many tears this week. <laughs> I don't know if I would say the same for my daughter, but okay. Yeah. And Abby says that Maddie hit everything she needed to and that she was amazing. So then we're in the room, uh, the dressing room, and you know, they all run, Maddie's coming in from her solo. They all run and hug Maddie. Mm-hmm. And Abby comes in and tells Chloe that, you know, the emotional execution was great. She changed her face. You looked at the judges. And then in her interview, she says that this was a big jump for Chloe looking at the judges. Good. All good. I have nothing to say. Nothing bad. I love this. I wish this was what Dance Moms was. Yeah. Every week for all of them. Exactly. And Abby said Maddie, her quality of dancing was more mature. And Maddie in her interview says that she sees herself moving up on the pyramid. And then we go to our trio and Abby says a trio is the hardest thing to space. Oh, foreshadowing. Because because, because that was her interview. She said that, right? I think so. No, I think she said it to the girls in the dressing room. Oh, in the room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Paige Paige is in her interview. That's right. And says the Hollywood vibe is is a very good competition, but we have some of the same judges as last time. So hopefully they will remember us. Yeah. And backstage that somebody told her to say that Paige. I don't uh, think had any idea who the judges were the uh, week before. That was not something that me and my girls really paid attention to. Yeah. Well, you they were have. holding hands backstage, the three of them. I love that. Cute. Okay. Yeah, they are cute. So the trio performs and it's called Over and Over. And See Melissa, my face? yeah, she looks up and says the spacing is off and Abby's going to freak out. And Abby, she says she doesn't know what the girls were doing. They blew it. They couldn't even remember it in the studio. What was she thinking? She was just afraid to watch and had her hands over her eyes and her head down. But I guess she couldn't really tell if anybody did anything wrong up on stage because she had her hands over her face. Her her, her (laughs) eyes were covered. See, it's like when she comes on your screen, you cover your eyes. Yeah. So we go to the solo awards. Chloe got second and Maddie got first. Okay, stop right there. They said junior awards. Chloe was not a junior. She was an intermediate and she won her category. Oh, I wrote down intermediate. I have Chloe one second and intermediate. You have intermediate and then they have Maddie winning first in her junior. Okay. I didn't didn't write what Maddie had. I don't know. Okay. No, no. I think it said intermediate. That's fine. I wrote that. I do have that wrote down. If Chloe got second in her category, totally fine. But I knew she wasn't in the same category. I don't know. I wrote them because they okay. said intermediate. I, I think they that's what they said. I don't okay. Know. So Chloe got second well, in intermediate. Then I stand corrected. And I, I got- don't know. Don't go by that. I wrote that down. I could have been on drugs that day. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what I'm writing? I probably didn't have my glasses on. I couldn't see. Yeah. But the, I'm <laughs> screaming that she won. Okay. Maybe she didn't, but it made it seem like they were in the same category. And I was like, they weren't even in the same category they do that all the time yeah yeah they do that all the time but whatever okay but, um melissa says that maddie deserved to win that um she's been working her butt off and she's where she belongs and we have the trio award and we got seconds and we uh, all go Ugh, yuck yeah i was so mad i know because we had never lost any trio no. that we had ever done yeah but abby did let us know that second is the first to lose uh yeah she, she's like, remember, yeah, seconds the first to lose. And Never. I have a big issue when Abby comes in the dressing room because but. so the trio is supposed to be a group, like it's a small group, it's three people. And so, like, you dance together. If you win together, you win together. And if you lose, you lose together. But Abby walks in and she looks at Maddie and she goes, You were great, Paige. And then she starts picking Paige apart. Why wasn't it the group screwed up? Well, she was like, Paige, were you late in the beginning? I don't think Paige was late. No, Paige goes, no. And, and I, I don't think she was late. I, I don't either. Maybe Maddie went too soon. I was just going to say, was she early? Because I, 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 I mean, I don't know, but I didn't think it seemed like, it seemed like Paige went out on the music. I don't know. Whatever. But I mean, I'll have to go back and rewatch. Yeah, right? we would have to watch that. But Abby says there was a big gap and she wasn't happy with what, you know what they did and Shocker. i say that abby will never take responsibility i didn't understand that 
Oh, why I, I said did. Abby would never take responsibility. It's always somebody else's fault. Because other than she's Abby. blaming the kids. Like you did this wrong. You did that wrong. Instead of correcting them in the class, she made them all cry. And instead of being and like, leave. oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that's why so you said that. Why I said that. Okay. Well, and then five minutes later, Abby says that we never take responsibility. Yeah. Well, then I start screaming that she should give positive something, you, say something positive to these. You kids. are not screaming. You are being more like you, you are raising your voice, but you weren't being like, I wasn't trying to be bitchy about it. You weren't being and aggressive. I, no. I, like, I just think that she, you get more bees with honey. Yeah. Right. Is, isn't that the saying? Like, yeah, I don't know. I think she should try that sometimes. And, and you know, different kids learn different ways. Like maybe doing that makes another kid work harder, but like, and she knows my kids, she knows our kids since they were two, you should know that treating them that way doesn't, no, it doesn't work them. It, but, but that's the problem, Christy. She does know that. Mm-hmm. And that's why she does it is to foster yes. them and just right. them up. And Holly even says that you, cause you say, give them something positive. And she's like, you know, Holly goes, well, that's not enabling. She well, said, Abby says, I don't like to. Enable oh kids. yeah. And yeah. Holly jumps in and says that Abby, I support that, but you can do it without belittling the kids. Yes. You know, Abby says she produces professional dancers because that's of not her, her way, not her. Yeah, nature. That's not the Abby Lee Miller. That's not my nature. Whatever. I'm going to start talking to myself, uh, yeah. talking about myself in third person always. Then Abby says that we forget that she's um, done this for 31 years. No, we don't and forget there's it. there's a lot going into training a kid that this is not a dance competition or dance camp. Well, no, she it's re- a dance studio where you go to learn. Studio. That's where you go to learn. And then I love, I love what you say here. Um, what do I say? Isn't there something to having hope. If you, yeah. if you have hope and dreams, you work towards them. If you keep crushing them down, they're never going to get good. Yes. And I agree with that. And that's what I just said a couple of minutes ago. Like if you keep, like some kids might flourish with that. Like, cause you know, it's a, a what do I want to say? I can't even think of the words. Like, Negative reinforcement. We want to like rise like some, to the occasion yeah, or some whatever. People that gives them ambition, but some people, it just knocks them down mm-hmm. and she should know the kids enough that she, I mean, she's had, she had Paige since she was two and mm-hmm. she's now 10. So right. you've had her for eight years, you know, Paige's personality, right? She needs positive reinforcement, but Kelly, she knows the positive reinforcement is a good thing because if she didn't, she, would, she wouldn't do it to Maddie. Exactly. Yeah, I know. But Abby says, if your kid loved to dance, she would have remembered the trio. Oh, they did God remember sakes. the trio. Yeah. They didn't forget it on stage. Did they? No. Not they didn't even all. forget it in the room. They just no. had them little corrections. Exactly. But I'm like, whatever. Abby says, we pass off our mistakes on other people that we should own it. Which is what you just said about her. <laughs> and just say, I have a bad day. And my, forget- my kid forgot the dance. And I'm like, you, or you say, you mm-hmm. made my kid cry. And you, and Abby says she didn't remember the number. Did Ugh. Chloe forget the number? No, she's talking she's about talking to you. Yeah, no, but she's talking about in rehearsal when Chloe stepped on and eight instead oh, of eight. She's saying okay. that she didn't remember that. Well, okay. maybe she didn't. It wasn't that she didn't remember. Maybe she was unclear. Yeah, that's what she's talking about. So she screams and um, then you start screaming. I know. Love. How yeah. many dances that kid remember every week? And she goes out there and delivers. Mm hmm. Which is so true. I mean, like she had three this dances week, this week. This week she did three. a group dance, a trio, and a solo. Yes, and learned them in five days. Yes, and she's ten. And then you tell her that she's negative, Nelly, and uh, her glass is half full. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so stupid. I'm so ashamed of myself. I could have done better there. Uh, then here's me being the spy. I hear I, you like, being the spy. I, I see Jill talking to people from her old studio. Oh, and here's me being a bitch. Yeah. Then when I'm in the room, I say that I asked Jill if she saw anyone from her old studio. She's like, just a few. And you're like, oh, are you keeping tabs on your old studio? Jill's like, yes, absolutely. Why aren't we allowed to fraternize with the enemy? And we like all are like, no. (laughs) Jill's like, well, that's crazy. It's none of your business who I talk to. And I say, oh, it is. (laughs) Yeah. And you say it is your business because it affects your kid. Yeah, especially if you're taking info back. Then Jill says that we sit there and complain and bitch at Abby, um, but we never move. 
move, maybe we'll like it somewhere else. And mm -hmm. you say, she really, really likes to change studios and maybe she should go back to the old studio 19 um, if it's so great. And Jill says, maybe it is. And here's where it pisses me off. She says, Kelly and Chris, in our interview, Kelly and Christy are stinking up the place. She needs to get out of here. Okay. I did not say a freaking word to Jill. This entire week, yeah. Yes. But it's Kelly and Christy all the time. And it was the same thing at the dinner, at the lunch at your house, when everybody said we were picking on Melissa. I didn't say a word there either. Mm -hmm. And it's... Mm -hmm. I, why do I get included? I believe me, I do enough bitching on my own. I don't yes. need to be included on yours. Now, hold on a second, though. <laughs> I do have to say that the best gift that I have ever come across in my life happened in that moment. This is my favorite gift from Dance Moms, other than Brooke picking her teeth. Are you ready? What? <laughs> nice. You're such a bitch. No, look at me in the background. <laughs> yeah, Look at me. I'm like, we are the biggest two bitches Holy in shit. town. <laughs> but that is my favorite gift. I use that bitch all the time. That That's gift good. is hysterical. That's funny. Uh -huh. But how about that necklace I had on? Oh, uh, my God. It, okay. I had that. I had that, that on. That was the one that that lady let us yes. borrow or whatever. I but had that on a couple episodes ago, my interview. Yeah, that shirt I had on, it looked like shit. I actually love that shirt. That shirt is like plain in the front, but the back has like black, it's all open and black crisscrosses oh. of elastic down the back. It's actually a beautiful shirt in, huh. in real life and not like I was leaning over. So it was like hanging wrong. Yeah. Stuff. That's actually, I love that shirt. Love huh. that shirt. Why and aren't you wearing and, that shirt today then? Because it's like satin and. Oh. It, a little fancy for today and backless okay. and like yeah but every single shot of that shirt it looked like shit <laughs> they did that on purpose. You, I, I love that shirt it's they like did. one of my favorite shirts yeah they, they never showed purpose. they never once showed the back of it never once because <laughs> uh, they have I to should make have sure worn it like so shit. I could show you the back yeah I, I don't remember have. that yeah well Jill did have on a gold lame skirt to match the girls coats i know <laughs> your face jill's outfits just blow my mind yeah blow they blow me away blow the competition away uh, okay so jill storms out of the room again and we're getting ready to go on stage and mia does not have a clip her hair Ugh. clip is broken and abby says what do you think you're going to wear in her hair when has Abby Lee Miller ever put someone on stage without a headpiece? Drink for a third person, please. We don't have a headpiece, uh, but third person. I have to drink this slow because it's a straight vodka, pretty much. Well, mine has vodka, rum, I know, and yours is tequila. Bad. It's Ooh. a good thing. We're, and we're filming late today. Yes. That's why I drank oh, a martini. It's actually it, Friday it's, happy hour. Yes. So we're good. I, I, I could not have drank that in the morning. So Nia has no headpiece. And Abby says on her interview that I was having a good time shooting the moms in the dressing room. I <laughs> Okay. Now she had a gun in both hands. I am surprised one wasn't aimed at you and one wasn't aimed at me. <laughs> no. she, she had them up in the air. I'm, I, I, like, I wanted to jump on the screen and be like, you should have shot them at us. That would have just made her day. Oh my God. And she's like, what did she say? It's a fantasy. <laughs> oh, but did you hear what you said? It's real quick. It's not really like on camera, but you go, Brooke, do you have a gun? Just like I do. <laughs> yeah. I, I, like I was asking her if she had her prop. And then in the it's same so part there, funny. And in the same part there, I'm having I'm handing Abby a cl hair clip because I must have had an extra hair extra clip. Extra hair clip. So you're like, yeah. you're, you're like, Bert, do you have a gun? Like yeah. I just thought and that I'm was like here, so Abby, funny. here's a hair, hair hair clip for Nia. So but. again, pointing out that um we might be the, the white trash bad moms, but like you need a costume done. You need a prop made. You need a yeah. hair clip. Yeah. Exactly. We have it. Yeah. But Abby says that we should make a list of what we need and check it off. And, you know, if we don't have anything, go to her. Like, yeah. okay. No. Come to me or you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come to me or you. But um, that's when Holly says Abby was having a field day with the guns. 
they are more for Abby than they are for the girls. I think Holly's right. Yeah. But so we're leaving and we're going to the stage and Abby's like, let's go. We're in Pittsburgh. Okay. Okay. Like the girls don't care where we are. Abby cares because she wants to, you know, do good for. Like, I know. And I'm like, she is in the area. She might lose some students. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we go and we do our dance and it is called private eyes. And how about Paige was in the front row? How well, you know, that? that dance was from the year before it was yeah. 007 yeah. or yeah. yeah, it was from but the still, year before. Paige is never in the front row. I don't care what it is, but I'm well, pretty excited. She was in the front. She was in the front. And I think she was in the front because it was an old dance, just like chicks. Paige yeah. was in the front with chicks. Are so did chicks. No, not on the show. I'm saying like oh. in real life. Yeah. No, I meant on the show. Oh, I don't oh. mean I don't mean in real life. I meant on the show. This oh, yeah, no. First Paige time Paige has never, never in been front. in the front row. No. Yes. Okay, got it. Sorry. So I was excited about that. Paige was in the front row. Do you did you watch Holly's face as the girls are dancing? She does the yes. same thing every and time they she dance. She was like getting into it. Yeah. <laughs> she's funny. She is so funny. <laughs> Holly in her interview says she liked the dance. It was energetic, but she did not like the guns. And Abby says that she loved the dance and we were, Abby says she liked the dance and we were like one, we danced yes. as one, not six separate solos, yes. which I think we dance as one all the time. Unless I it's do too. Like they all each have their own separate parts. I don't know. Yeah. But then we had the awards and we won first place. But just in our jazz category, we did not win overalls. We got second in overalls. Oh, I'm getting there, but I'm oh. excited. We won first place in our category. I'm sorry. Bitch. Okay. I'm sorry. Get there. <laughs> sorry. Well, Chloe, um, because Chloe thinks we're gonna do good. She, yeah. Because because we have guns. <laughs> <laughs> then I have we didn't win the overall. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I just wanted to say that Chloe said that we had guns. She okay. says we think we would the dance will do good because we have guns. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see but, how happy those moms were behind us when they won and beat us? I saw the girl on stage. Oh, I didn't there was see a the little on girl stage. on stage, like directly across from our girls. There's a little girl that was sitting there. And when they announced it, she was like all excited. And then she turned around to like, like tell the people that her friends behind her, like we beat them. Oh, that's so funny. I was watching the moms all sitting behind us and they like jumped up. Like it was new year's Eve. They were like, ah! yeah, like, the, okay. the one little girl was too. She was cute. Okay. So Abby comes in the room and she thought we were going to win the overall because of the difficulty and the gold looked great on stage. She had to yes. pat herself on the back for picking out a gold costume. Uh-huh. And Holly says that it all pulled together. Great. And Abby said it was great. It looked like they were in a show. Uh huh. Um, and th- don't our stomachs get full from eating this all the crow <laughs> every week? But Jill says she thought it looked great on stage, but more turns would have made it more dynamic. I am were used to the full potential. Do you look at my face? No, because I was too busy dying that Jill is like literally saying this. What are you doing? Show me. Re- re- I, recreate like, it. Like I'm just like you. You put your hands on your face. You're like. How, whatever. Like, I, I think you're just like tired of her talking. Yeah. And then, yes. That's accurate. And then Abby is like appalled. Yes. She, Abby is just like, did you really just say that to me? And I'm just like, I, I, I want to see what kind of reaction Abby is going to have to this. <laughs> but like, seriously, I like look at Jill and I look at Abby and I'm like, okay, like what, what is yeah. her response? Going All to right. Be? Let me get my popcorn out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Jill says that maybe Ken- maybe Maddie was, but Kendall wasn't used to her full potential. Mm. Abby says in her interview that um, Jill is not learning from her mistakes. She rips on my category or God, she rips on my choreography and she needs to butt out and follow the rules and let me work with Kendall. And did you notice Abby's necklace there? It's like a barbed wire fence. Or yes. Something. Yes. She it has it kind of weird. She yeah. had it on the entire episode. Yes. Yeah. It, Maybe it it's the barbed wire at the top of jail. I don't know, but at least it wasn't plastic. That's true. One of our oh, we should look at the positive majority. things. Yeah, I am. See, I am. You're a positive. You say you always look for the positive. There you are. I do. I do. I do. So 
Um, Jill says that she was excited about having a special part, but there was no special part. (laughs) Kendall did the same thing that everybody else did. And Abby says, Jill thinks Kendall Kendall should dance in the middle and all the rest of the girls do a pose around her. That is accurate as well. Yes. And Abby says that Kendall's a beautiful girl and she picks up quick, but she needs technique. And then Abby has to say, they all do. Then Jill's like, I don't think... Um, you should run your studio like that. <laughs> That's when I looked at Abby. The first one I'm looking just aggravated. This one, I look at Abby like, oh my God, did you just, that, did those words just come out of my mouth? Like, I, sure I loved did. that it came out of her mouth and not mine because mm-hmm. I loved it. Amen. And Abby's like, I produce employable, workable dancers, not competition dancers. Keep your eye on the big picture. Mm -hmm. And Jill says, is this what she has to look forward to every week? Dancing behind Maddie and Chloe. She said that last week, I think too. Yeah. Never. She's never being in a trio or a solo. Like she gets nothing. Jill is looking at the big picture and she does not like it. I hate that Abby, does she say this to Kendall or an interview? She says that mother is out to destroy her. I have an interview. She says, um, don't know what's wrong with Jill. It's, going to all shake out in the wash with for Kendall oh yes and then I have um I don't know if she's going to make it because her mother is going to destroy her that was an interview okay that was definitely an interview well that's I'm glad she didn't say that to Kendall I thought she said it to Kendall yeah well then Jill steals uh Leslie's line give her a solo let her do a trio give her something oh god (laughs) just find a spot for her find a spot Uh, and then Abby's ends it with don't worry i have something perfect for you i can't Which, even what was that oh you know what, you know what, it, what is? it is she's what? putting her back on probation ah. that's what it's gonna be because i watched the preview for the next week and it's like she's back on probation um oh. so that's what oh, it, i can take these glasses off now that's what it's gonna be god i'm dying over here people oh okay so i actually think this was a tough episode because i i hated Abby being cruel to Paige and Chloe. I really did. Yeah, I did too. That was hard to watch and it like made me sick. So I'm going to say this was like a four drinker for me. I'll say a three, a three. I'm still trying to get Chloe up here. She said, I'm doing homework. Okay. So, um, top bottom of the pyramid for outfits go, uh, definitely Jill's, uh, road Road kill kill? best. Yes. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> roadkill vest for sure all right i'm assuming oh, no. top of the pyramid it's your shirt that you love with the x back no because i look like shit on camera <laughs> all right I then guess. what is it <laughs> i love that i love that shirt i really do i love that shirt but it looked like shit on camera everybody's probably like oh that's an ugly shirt but it really yeah. does look pretty when I'm, here. <laughs> I'm standing up straight not like yelling at somebody over, or yeah. whatever yeah but, okay. um, I don't know. What would you pick as first? Oh, top of the pyramid. I mean, Abby's fur purse. That's amazing. Oh, God, I don't know. Maybe I, we I don't should know. just put my tan shirt because you all can just imagine that it is really pretty shirt. All right, we'll we'll give you that. Okay, favorite okay. lines. Let me see. I have for um, Jill. If you can't beat them, shoot them. <laughs> and I have from me. If um, gifts don't work, watch your tires. Yeah. <laughs> That was really funny. Oh, that was really, really funny. I agree with that. Um, I have, I starred them. Where are they? I was starring them. Oh, I also liked when Abby told Jill, you know, everyone's going to hate you. That was funny too. Yeah. I like when Chloe's. Oh, go go ahead. ahead. No, I go. Got, I got a million. Go I ahead. Like when you said, um, I think you're a conniving bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I like when I said if I threw a shoe, Chloe would be wouldn't even be on the pyramid. Abby would be snuffing her out like a cigarette. Go away, Chloe, go away. Uh, yeah. I also like when Chloe said, I hope she didn't mean that literally we could get disqualified. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I also like, Brooke, do you have a gun? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah. Making sure my kid has a freaking prop, like a good dance mom would do. But it, Brooke, do you have a gun? That was pretty funny. All right. Well, we will catch you guys on the after show where we have lots of questions <sighs> to answer this week. Sorry, I was so like bad today. My I can't see without my glasses. Your brain hurts. Uh, it's Friday. You know what I think we should do? 
What? I think we should start putting, like, you know how you put on that, like, you shared the screen with us on um, the thing last week, on Patreon last week? Like, yeah. We shared the yeah. screen. I think we should put the show on and play it and pause it and then us talk about it oh. instead of us narrating it. Because then the people on Patreon can see it. They don't have to rewatch it. They can see it and hear what goes on. And we say our, our things about it. Well, we can definitely try that. I mean, it might be worth a try. Yeah, we can try it. I don't care. I mean, that sounds like it sounds easier than what we do. Yeah. Not well, so I don't, much I don't know how that would work, though, on the um, podcast. Would they be able to hear it? Like they could hear like what? I don't know. Say? We'll We'll have to do some investigating. We'll, we'll think about it. Think yeah, about it. but that would be good for sure. Yeah. All right. We will see you guys back here next week. And for all of our Patreon subscribers, we'll catch you on the after show. Bye guys. Bye. Thanks for listening to back to the bar. Don't forget to rate review and subscribe on Apple podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you love to listen to your podcasts and check out our YouTube channel back to the bar. If you want to watch the episodes, the channel is linked in our show notes. And if you want to join our weekly after party, where we dish even more dirt like naked pizza hell <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to our patreon channel at patreon.com slash back to the bar see you next time see you next time baby i just wanna dance dance